Matt, we're going to talk about mugshot um, websites. And, you know, just I did a quick search on the internet. It looks like there's at least 20 different sites that post mugshots from people who have been arrested. And, I mean, I see just a, a couple of them like arrest.org, mugshots.com, jail.com, publicpolicerecord.com. Mm -hmm. Those are probably some of the more well-known one, no, known ones, but then there's many other ones. So what's yeah, going so on Yeah, so actually here? the mugshot industry has changed drastically. A few of those you mentioned don't rank anymore because the story goes as one of these mugshot owners was – got in trouble in Florida for extortion. And it's one of those things you pay one to get removed and it pop up on another and just endless extortion. So ironically, I had a client reach out to me today about it. It's like, oh, I don't want to pay for a mugshot removal. It's going to pop up another one. And I had to assure him like, no, the Google's kind of cracked down on that. So those BS extortion sites where it's playing whack-a-mole, one goes away, one pops up. Those aren't existing anymore. Nowadays, it's much more tied to newspapers um, Georgia Gazette is a big one that you see a lot. Um, but these websites that scrape mugshots, they're not really a big threat like they used to be. Interesting. So you just to clarify, you said if, if I contacted you and I've got, Hey, I got a mugshot on one of these sites and you remove it, it, it's not going to pop up on a bunch of other sites now. No, it won't. It's, it's, it's one and done. Um, Full disclosure, it's rare, but sometimes Google doesn't like to show redundancies. So if you're on one mugshot site and it gets removed, it might show up on another if you have a really weak online presence just because Google is struggling to find anything else to replace it with. So if you have a weak online presence, typically if you want to play it safe, build out your online presence a little bit more. You know, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, do some blogs. We can always help you with that. Yeah. Um, buy your website. You know, you did, we did a great video on that but you know, your name.com um, build out your online presence first, upload all the images. Cause then when the mugshot does get removed, you want Google to replace it with positive things, not another mugshot. And it's always a worry of mine. Luckily people trust me, but you always wor worry that, you know, one sh mugshot goes down and another mugshot pops up. People are going to think it's your fault. You know, we're playing extortion games with them. And that's not the case. You know, we have our clients best interest at heart. But that's just unfortunate reality is you got to have a strong online presence first. So what if you're what if you're on multiple mugshot websites? Then what do you do? Yeah, we could I mean the success rate's pretty high. Um, I mean, do you I'm, I'm sorry, let me rephrase. Do you have to get removed from each one of those individually or if you just take down one? Yeah, so each each website's independent and an independent fee. However, if you're doing bulk, obviously our removal guys will give discounts accordingly. Uh -huh. um, case by case depends how many there are or the outlet is it on, is it on New York Times or on some local county newspaper much big different story um, if it's in the budget yeah obviously try to get remo them all removed if you're on a small budget or medium budget what you could do is suppression or a hybrid so a hybrid would be remove the prominent mug shots and bury the rest or if you're on a small budget just do suppression and with suppression it's a it's a fee if it's one mugshot or a thousand mugshots, it's the same fee. And the rationale, it's the same overhead for us because we're creating and po promoting positive content. That's the real service. And in turn, it buries the negative. But for us, it makes no difference if it's one or a thousand mugshots. It's the same, same end result. It does sound like if you appear on one mugshot website and you don't do anything about it, that you could still, that could propagate onto other sites. Is that still true? Yeah, yeah. So Google just doesn't want to show redundancy. So, you know, do a thorough search yourself, search your name, the town name where you got arrested, even search word mugshot. Don't do it too often. You don't want to risk having an auto suggest, um, but really do a deep dive into seeing if there's any other ones out there. If you don't see anything, then you're probably safe. But one in a thousand times I've seen it, it's rare. Uh, one mugshot goes down and Google somehow finds a mugshot out of the blue. And it also sounds like if you, maybe you've been arrested recently and you see a mugshot that you should kind of hop on it right away. Yeah. Before yeah, it, before it gets, it. yeah. And before it gets on all the, all the other sites. Exactly. Yeah. So part of Google's algorithm is who clicks on what, especially first it gets priority and this negative mugshots exist longer and longer, more and more people are going to click on them. Just human nature. They don't want to click on your, you know, Facebook picture. Maybe they want to see your mugshot. 
Um, right. And if you do think you're about to get arrested, just good uh, habit. Before you get arrested, smile. If you look angry, then people are going to think it's a mugshot. But if you're smiling, like, oh, it's just his corporate profile picture. Yeah, well, that might be a whole other topic about how to smile after you've been arrested. It probably is not yeah. what people want to do. Uh, the, Al- the Al Capone smile. Yeah. All right. Well, so the, I guess the bottom line is that Al-, you... Al Capone got, did a big smile on his mugshot. It's famous. Anyways. Got, gotcha. <laughs> Side note. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you have a, um, you know, if you've Googled yourself, and particularly if you look at images and you and you do see a mugshot, you should contact us. It's a very affordable uh, one-time fee to get off those shots. And like you said, maybe combined with some suppression and some positive work can really uh, help build up your reputation long-term and prevent any other potential mug shots from appearing in Google. Yes, exactly. All right. Thanks, Matt. Appreciate your time. Thanks, Mike.